The Purdue Boilermakers. Jeff Brom. My favorite coach in this conference. Win total. <laughs> Brett's back. Was my favorite coach Was in this it? conference. <laughs> I forgot Brett's back. Win total sits at five right here to go under is uh, minus 125. To go under is minus 105. And, you know, in 2020, there were only 11 scholarship seniors. There were only 10 juniors. The youth movement should be experienced at this point. Quarterback battle. Uh, looks like it's going to be uh, Jack Plummer to uh, to win that job. Wide receiver David Bell is an All-American candidate. That dude's so you know, good. Brom has, has started, like, he has stated recently that he wants to get back to running the ball more, but he hasn't had the personnel to be able to do that. I think he might have it this year. Uh, Brom fired their defense coordinator, Bob Diaco. They hired former Charlotte coach Brad Lambert. He's kind of known for his attacking, disruptive defense. Like You are never going to be able to get the, the hosses in the middle at Purdue. Yeah. But you can get enough guys that can attack the defense, that can... That can Boost up your havoc rate and all that. You can make other teams turn this the ball is a over. That should go to the three three five. Yes, very much so. Very right. much so. If you're an offensive team that throws the ball, spreads everything out, you, you talk about your defense has to be a chaos driven defense. Yes, it's got to be crazy. They, they cannot win in the trenches, which means you just have to wreak havoc. You have to bring chaos. They went uh, two and four last year. Went four and eight the year before that. Uh, it's kind of I mean, ever since that one season where they beat Ohio State. It hadn't been great. You know, they had Rondell Moore, but I think he played, what, two games over the last two seasons? Yeah, he, he hasn't played a lot. He was hurt. Yep. Um, but I, David Bell has has made a name oh, for himself. I think I think him, Moore being hurt last year was the best thing that ever happened to Bell. I think so as well. Because that guy showed the world, do not worry. I am here. I'm here, and I'm going to be awesome. really good. I I like this team. What's their total? Total is five. You know, I'm, I'm looking at it. That's I, tough. That's F, tough. FPI has them projected uh, six and six. And I mean, they're going to be favored in. Do, 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 do. They're going to be favored in six games. Yeah, five games, five games. So they'll be favored. Yeah, in five. but I'm going to I'm going to bet how many of those are less than a field goal. Mm. I bet a lot. Actually, none. Michigan State they're favored by a touchdown. Northwestern they are favored by. See, and that's the problem. See, that's insane. They're favored by a touchdown over Northwestern, but a lot of that has to do with the, these stats have to do with returning production oh. and that. So that's that's just insane. I, I still. Seem to think that they could win at Nebraska. Like they could win over Minnesota. They could beat Illinois. They, uh, they can, can beat do UConn, all those Oregon things. State. I think all those games are going to be one score close games, though. I think they could beat Indiana. Like I think, yes, I, I think certainly they're going to be close I games. The, I think Oregon but, State is going to be a, a close, hard fought one score game. I think getting rid of Diaco and bringing in Lambert, I trust Lambert. That's that's probably and, that's a great move. Yes. And the fact that you are experienced again. You True. you have dudes that know what they're doing finally. And the number's only five. I fully think that Purdue can get to a bowl game. They're going to beat teams that that we don't think that they should beat right now. And they get Michigan State, Rutgers, and Michigan from the other side of the conference. Yeah. That helps. So, you know, I, I am taking I'm taking Purdue to go over the five. Oh, yeah. It's I minus 125. Go, I think I'd go over the five just to get them to a bowl game, but it's tough. Oh, it's good. Oh, I, I it's think I think a lot of these games are going to be much closer than the gambling experts think. Yes, I could I, be wrong. Those guys are more right than me. That just seems like they're not going to be a touchdown favorite over Northwestern when that game happens. I don't think so either. Like I don't care what Northwestern's record looks like or Purdue's record, they won't be a touchdown favorite. Ten if you could get an early bet line on that game right now. I'd bet a lot on that game today if I could. There's just zero doubt you're going to get that. Agreed. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.